The PTI Friday defended Pakistani businessman Arif Naqvi, who is facing corruption charges in the United States, as the government criticized PTI chairperson Amran Khan for receiving funds from the Abre Aj Group founder after a damning Financial Times report. As the country awaits the verdict reserved by the Election Commission of Pakistan into the PTI's prohibited funding, and exposed by the Financial Times has blown the lid off Pakistani tycoon Arif Naqvi's involvement in the party's finances and how a significant portion of its funding in 2013 was of foreign origin. According to the report, Naqvi transferred three installments directly to the PTI in 2013, adding up to a total of $2. 12 million. Related items to foreign funding, how a cricket match in UK was used to help Imran Khan's party gov doubles down on a man seeking verdict on PTI's foreign funding KCCP, in connivance with Hamza tried to defeat us in by polls, Imran Khan in response, PTI Senior Vice President Jawad Chowdhury asked local media not to portray our people as villains, as when a Pakistani Muslim's influence crosses a certain benchmark, it is not welcomed by the Israeli lobby. Arif Nakhvis Abrayaj Group became a $14 billion company. And when any Muslim and especially a Pakistani Muslim's influence crosses a certain limit, then it isn't welcomed by the Israeli lobby. Why should we become part of a propaganda campaign when we know it's Israel-backed? In a separate statement, Fawad said that the PTI demands that the Election Commission of Pakistan ECP, should announce the verdict in all three parties, PTI. PMLN, and PPP, funding case be announced at the same time. The PTI has submitted the details of more than 40,000 donors to the ECP. Overseas Pakistanis, just like they support Pakistan, they also support PTI, he said. Abbasi Slams Khan, demands details of transactions talking to the media outside the ECP office in Islamabad, senior PMLN leader Shahid Kakan Abbasi said that the government has requested the election commission to reveal the details of funds that Khan's party received so people can see it for themselves. Yesterday, an institution like the Financial Times reported that Arif Naqvi held a match in London. Arif Naqvi told the participants that their participation money would go to a charity. The FT reported that the guests, who participated in Naqvi's Wooten T20 Cup, were asked to pay between £2,000 and £2,500 each. The former Prime Minister alleged that Nakavi donated 55 million rupees into the bank accounts of PTI. But PTI provided no trace of those transactions. He further alleged that Khan's party received funds from companies in the United States that are established in California and Texas. If Khan's hands are clean, he should provide details of transactions since day one.